I've always wanted to come here. This is a moment right here. The clouds in the background. This church. Wow. What's happening everybody? Danny Punk's life here, here in Anaheim. I'm just breathtaking by this right now. This is nuts. Here at Christ Cathedral, looking to pay a visit to a special somebody. Just check this out. Check out this image. Look at this. Wow. Here to go. All the way up. This is the church right here. This is breathtaking, man. This is. Always wanted to come here. So I'm out here trying to pay a visit to Lonnie Frisbee. If you don't know who he is, he was a uh, very controversial in the Christian community. But I'm a I'm a believer of God, and I believe that God can use anybody to spread His message, even people who were the most flawed in the world. You know, we all ask for forgiveness. We all are sinners. But Lonnie Frisbee had a lot of uh, a lot of demons, and I respect it. You know, 100%. You know, I've, I've been um, reading Jesus Revolution by Greg Laurie. The movie's coming out, and he's part of that movement. He is the biggest part of that movement. Him and Chuck Smith from Calvary Chapel. They started this movement together, and it's such a beautiful thing. And why not? Why not just? Why not just recognize him? You know, this movie's coming out. You know, I believe that Jesus is coming soon, one day. Maybe not in my lifetime, but hopefully soon. And I just want to go pay my respects to him and Chuck Smith today. So let's go see if we can find Lonnie Frisbee. He's somewhere around here. From this big old tower here at Christ Cathedral. So let's go find him. We got some falls. Oh, we soothing. This place is massive. This place is huge. I don't know if I'm gonna find him quick, but we're gonna make the attempt. Let's do this. I can do this. Anytime I'm around this area, I always see this cross glowing with that big tower thing. Man, this is awesome. So, so real to be here. Still on the search. Can't be too far. It's being in the same vicinity. He's over here somewhere. But, look at that. Look at that. That's so awesome. I love it. It's so crazy. I was standing right there looking up at the cross. And said a little prayer to help me find Lonnie. 15 feet later, I'm right here. Here's Lonnie Frisbee, where he lies. Missionary, evangelist. We have some words right here. For the kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Wow. So surreal right now, man. This is, I'm actually getting a little emotional right now, man. This is, this is amazing. This is cool. Really cool. So if you guys never heard of the Jesus movement, when uh, Chuck Smith, the founder of Calvary Chapel, his church wasn't doing so well. So he prayed on God, he prayed to God to send him a hippie. And uh, Lonnie Frisbee appeared, entered his life, and changed his life forever. Oh, it's noon.
Beautiful. This is a vibe right now. It really is. Wow. So I was saying, when Lonnie entered Chuck Smith's life, it was like a complete, like, awakening, you know? And Lonnie pretty much told him, you know, to get in touch with the hippies because people despised hippies. People hated hippies, didn't like hippies, especially in the Christian community because they weren't, they, they weren't so-called godly people, but they were never shown God. They were never, um, they were just, they weren't allowed in churches because of the way they are, the way they dress, even the way they smelt and all that stuff. They just, no one ever gave them a chance. And Chuck Smith and Lonnie Frisbee opened those doors for those hippies to give them a chance. And they just saved so many souls and lives. And I've heard things about Lonnie Frisbee that are just unbelievable. Like he's helped people cure cancer. He's helped people, you know, cure sickness. He's helped people just overall miracles and some people even say or I think even he called himself a seeing prophet and that's something huge it's a lot of shoes to fill when you throw the word prophet on a human being but he's done some truly amazing things and he had demons like I said he had demons where he battled with drugs sex and alcohol and in the closet homosexuality and um, which ended up becoming a falling out between him and Chuck Smith and Calvary Chapel and I don't know all the details just kind of what I know on top of my head but I know that Lonnie Frisbee has changed and done so much great things for the Lord and just for that movement and for people in general hippies it doesn't matter even for Greg Laurie Greg Laurie one of the biggest pastors out there in the world and he wrote the book Jesus Revolution he was producing the movie I don't know if he's in the movie, but I know his character arc is in the movie because he was a big part of that movement too. So I can't wait for the movie to come out. It comes out this weekend. I'm going to go see it with my family. And I just wanted to come pay a visit to Lonnie Frisbee and to show him my respects because just reading about him and just seeing how beautiful of a human being he was, even though he had demons, we all have demons now. We're imperfect. Everybody's imperfect. Christians are imperfect people. And that's what people tend to forget sometimes. And... I know I'm probably going to get a bunch of hate from other Christians or hate from people who are non-Christians. But you know what? This is what I believe. And this is what I love. And I love God. And I love that hey, He can change anybody. If He can change me, He can change anybody. You know? And unfortunately with Lonnie, he kept battling. That demon took the best of him. But he still had his faith in God. He, you know, he knew he could trust in the Lord. But unfortunately, he died back in 1993 with, due to AIDS. And... You know, sometimes, sometimes that demon can take a hold of your life, but not take a hold of your soul and spirit. Always, always believe. So, I never got to meet Lonnie, obviously. He died when I was two years old. I would have loved to meet him, maybe in the next life, or in heaven, not the next life. Maybe in heaven, we can have a chat, but thank you, Lonnie, for saving all these people. And just overall being a good human being. We all have demons. We're all imperfect. But you have shown people the light. And like it says right here. For the kingdom of God. Righteousness. Peace. And joy in the Holy Spirit. Rest in peace Lonnie. This place is beyond amazing. I love it man. Come visit Lonnie again soon. Now I know where exactly where he's at. Time to go find Chuck Smith. Now here at the Fairhaven Memorial. Found Chuck Smith. Papa Chuck, we call them. I know a lot of people probably don't like that that nickname. You shouldn't call. A pastor papa, our father, but hey, that was his nickname, so what can he do, huh? Jesus never fails. Get some words right here. For we know that when the earthly tent we live in is taken down, 
when we die and leave these bodies, we will have a home in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. Corinthians 5.1. Wow. Wow. It's awesome. Can't, you know, it's awesome I get to stand right in front of Chuck Smith. Just got to see Lonnie Frisbee. And it's cool, man. This is something else. I'm kind of taken back a little bit. And this is really, really cool. For those of you who might not know, I do go to kind of a Calvary Chapel. It's kind of like a little sister of a Calvary Chapel. Um, like, you know, Calvary Chapel is so big, they have these little sister churches everywhere. So, this because of him, there wouldn't be a Calvary Chapel, you know, and it would have been a Jesus movement with him and Lonnie Frisbee. There wouldn't be no Greg Laurie. There wouldn't be my pastor. There wouldn't be a lot of things. And because of him and Lonnie, and most of all God, they made this happen. They made a revolution. And you know, I hope this movie, when it comes out, it it touches everybody, man. It touches them in a way where this story has touched me just from learning over the last couple years, becoming a Christian, and man, this is awesome. This is something special, I'll tell you that. One thing I just noticed is that Chuck Smith doesn't have any dates on his gravestone. Not at all. I know he died back in 2013, but wow, no dates. Only this, Corinthians 5.1. Jesus never fails. No, he doesn't. Thank you, Chuck Smith. Thank you for inspiring millions and millions. You know, back in the day, it was probably hundreds to thousands. Now it's millions across the world. So thank you, Chuck Smith. Thank you, and thank you, Lonnie Frisbee. That's going to do it here today. Fairhaven Memorial here at the Eternal Gardens. Got to see Lonnie Frisbee and Chuck Smith. And on this Sunday, I get to go see Jesus Revolution and hear their story. Or actually, see their story. I've already read their story. But I get to see it on the big screen with Jonathan Rumi and Kelsey Grammer. So, looking forward to that. What a beautiful day. It was nice and sunny out. We got some clouds going on. Looks like a storm's ahead of us. Thank God. Thank America. And thank you for watching and just always supporting me no matter what. Thank you for my family and friends and most of all my wife. I'm blessed, man. Truly am blessed. You guys should be too. God bless you guys. See you guys next time. Till next time. The vlog is over.